Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 with me, Bring It On. If you wish. So I'm actually going to go back and rest again, but first I need to change my spells. And then we're going to spend the day at the circus. Because all work and no play. Thanks, Jack, a dull boy. Something like that. Content with that. Let's get to spell magic instead of hold animal. Because that'll come in useful more often. Call Woodland Beings is fun. Defensive Harmony is fun. And I don't need to have this equipped at all times. I can always rest. Or equip it and rest and then cast it on whoever died. So we don't need that equipped. I'm actually going to grab True Seeing because I know what to expect coming yes. up. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Do we ever talk to this guy? Alatelo de, de Bonito? It is done. Hello there. We did not. Uh, hello, hello. Welcome to, uh, what time is it? It's afternoon. Then welcome to the afternoon showing of the talents of Ale Alatelo de Bonito. A rousing wave of indifference in the crowd yet again. Ah well. If I let such things bother me, I would have given up the stage years ago. As per the wishes of most of my audience, unfortunately. At least the occasional dwarf applauds. Well, doesn't swear and leave anyway. Hmm, let's see. A tale of familial woe to tantalize your tears and tempt your time and interest. Ahem. Raise the spells and casting well, but always wanting better. To sing of nights and days of yore, to leave the robes that, that fetter. A wizard prone to song and prose, Thought, though oft accused of failing. I shall sing despite the odds. Will you shut your bloody wailing? Well finished, Mrs. Patricia. You have fine ear for rhyme, though I would hope you'd be more supporting of your own employees. I support you sticking to spells and figures. Your security and a financial advisor, not the entertainment. Hit the road if you want a form for your singing. Very well, Mrs. Patricia. Thank you for your indulgence thus far. Uh, we're actually here to rest. Hello. We'll go noble. Because we are nobility. Well, I guess that's not necessarily the case. I mean, we're the child of a god, but we're not... I don't think that inherently makes you nobility. If you wish. Part deity for sure, but definitely not a. Uh, Out with it. Nobility. If you wish. Yeah, let's go to the circus. Uh, sure, it'll be a fun time. Take a break. Yeah, yeah. For the glory of arm. Uh, hold. This tent has been closed off for your own safety, citizen. The circus has been closed until this matter is resolved. Uh, why? What has occurred here? We're not exactly sure. There was no problem until a show was scheduled earlier in the morning. Earlier this morning? It says no problem until a show was scheduled earlier in the morning. It makes it sound like the problem occurred because it was scheduled early in the morning. Uh, apparently, the show began well enough, and then something occurred. Nobody has come out of the tent who went in for the show, and everyone we have sent in to investigate has not come out either. Foul magic is, no doubt, involved here. We're waiting for the cowed wizards to arrive. They will be able to solve this, I am sure. Uh, nobody at all has gotten out? Well, we've been told that one of the animal trainers darted out after the show began. We have not been able to find him yet. That's a silly statement. Uh, hmm. I can handle myself. Perhaps I can solve the problem here for you. Very well, then. I'll not stop you if you wish to risk yourself, citizen. You were warned. It is no risk. Now, so long as we have swords and braveness to the brim of the tall glass of goodness. Right, boo? Uh, we should be careful, Donald. There's no telling what is going on with the, within if the city guard can't handle it. Be prepared for anything, is what I always say. That's yes. a very generic advice, Yoshima. Mm. So the reason why it's silly, why... Or I said it was silly that he couldn't find the animal trainers because he's over here with all the animals. Anyway, let's talk done. to Gyrin, or Girin. As I thought. Who are you? Uh, my mama's still inside. They says she can't come out. Uh, what are you talking about, child? My mama went into the tent to see a show, but something happened, and now nobody comes out. There's guards who won't let nobody in anymore, too. But my mama's in there. I want my mama. 
I'll go and see if I can find your mother, alright? Just calm down and be brave. Oh, okay, sir. We must help this child. I'll find who took his mother and teach them a thing or three about decency, respect, and keeping their hands off of people's parents. What? A sign says this device was built to travel underwater. Strange a concept as that might be. Simple. If you wish. Step right up! Step right up! Uh, come. Enter the Adventurer Mart. Adventurer Mart. Uh, behind me you will find all the equipment any adventurer needs. Uh, what do they sell? Weapons both magical and plain. Stolen armor from the lairs of dragons. Scrolls of sorcery. Anything you need, we have. Uh, I bet. Uh, let's talk to Harold. Uh, please leave me be. It is not bad enough that we are strangers to this town. Now my wife is gone as well. Huh? If you wish. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. They said they couldn't find the animal trainer, but they didn't bother looking over here with all the uh, all the animals. Simple. Yes. I uh, oh, uh, oh, you startled me. Please forgive me. Uh, what is the problem? The problem? I was in the circus tent, and I got out just in time. Just in time to save my life. Oh, it was terrible. Uh, relax and tell me what happened from the beginning, friend. Well, I go by Tattoo the Tiger Tamer. I was going to put on my show this morning, but it got delayed because of a special performance. I don't know who the performer was. I was so mad about being delayed, you see. I stayed in the back of the tent and prepared my tigers. Uh, not long after that, I felt sick all over. The tent got all wavy. I looked out into the main tent of the, at the audience. They were all changing. Their bodies began shifting right before my eyes. The tent was disappearing, being replaced by things I had never seen before. I ran for the exit. I escaped just in time. I'm the only one who came out, and no one who has gone in has come back. The things I saw. Horrible. Are you sure you don't know anything about this special performance? No. Somebody came to the bo Somebody came who the boss knew and wanted to do something special. I don't know who it was or why this happened. Uh, what kinds of things did you see when you fled, Fergus? I... I'm not sure. People were changing. I could see with my eyes. Like their skin was melting. The whole tent was being replaced by something else. Like we were being moved somewhere. I don't know. Alright, I think I may have to take a closer look into this. I wouldn't go into... Sorry, I wouldn't go in the tent if I were you. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm so frightened. Well, one, you should talk to the city guard. Huh? Who are like 30, 40 feet away if from you. you. Wish. Because they're looking for you, and they haven't bothered looking over here. It's just... Uh. So silly. If he was in a different area, or inside a building, I would understand. All right, let's go into the uh, circus tent. If you wish. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay. I hope I remember how to solve this. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Anyway, aha! I see a wayfarer has come to amuse Kala. You must answer a riddle naturally. Here I will allow. Air I allow. Can't say I will allow. That's weird. All right. Air I will allow you to pass this bridge. Are you ready to hear it? And why would I want to pass over this bridge? Because it is symbolic of your progression to enlightenment and understanding, fool. Are you ready to proceed? I'd prefer to know who this Kala is before I play any of your games. Kala does not reveal himself to those who are not worthy. Are you ready to begin? Uh, very well. I am ready. Excellent. A princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of their present age. Which of the following, then, could be true? Okay, so if I remember correctly, the first step is to cut the potential answers in half. So a princess is as old as the prince will be, which indicates the princess is older than the prince. Princess is twice as old as the prince was. Yeah, you can't use that part to indicate the princess is older. 
Because the princess is twice as old as the prince was. Like, that could be any time frame. But a princess is as old as the prince will be, I think, indicates that the princess is older. So let's look at the answers. Princess 30, 20. Yeah, so answers 1 and 3 are the potential right answers. And then, I think working backwards, right? So half the sum of their present age. So if we take these... 70, 50, so 35 and 25, 35 and 25, okay. Let's see, then let's see. I think I'm doing this right, I could be doing this entirely wrong. Yes, yeah, so the first thing you wanna do, again, cut the answers in half, so one and three are the potential answers, and then uh, half the sum of the present age, which you would add 20 and 30 and 30 and 40, to get 50 and 70. And then divide that by two because it's half the sum. So 25 and 35. The princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum. So they all right, so you have to find the prince's age when he when the princess is half the age of their current sum. So when the princess is 35, the prince will be 25. And here when she is 25 he'd be 15 and then twice as old as the prince so multiply those by 2 so 15 times 2 is 30 25 times 2 is 50 she is old as the prince will be and the princess is twice as old okay so that means the prince would be 40 when the princess is 50 and the prince would be 20 when the princess is 30. It can't be number one because that's that would be the answer right now, but we're not done with the problem. So it has to be three. We already know it's gonna be three, but we can go and finish the problem as well. Uh, the princess is old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old. So if she's 50 and he's 40, their current age, because the princess is as old as the prince will be when all the other stuff happens. So the princess is as old as the prince when he's 40 because she's 50 so she would be 40 here and the prince would be 30 so yeah you're not looking for the prince's age the, well, the, at least you're not looking for the prince's current age and it's also never given you always have to find the prince's age as well because it's not part of the actual math problem so yeah the answer should be three ah you were correct awesome okay i'm glad i remembered how to do that the Mighty Kala respects those with a most agile and quick mind. Proceed across with my blessing. I am glad I remembered how to do that. So young Bring It Dawn did not uh, know how to do that. It is done. Nope, don't go in there yet. Oh, this tall structure would barely fit inside the promenade. Never mind within the tent you just entered. So you can investigate the boot. If you wish. What do you want? Yeah, see, so yeah, Young Bring It Don reloaded that. He didn't want to solve it because he didn't like math. But now I actually enjoy math. Well, I don't enjoy math. I take that back. I enjoy puzzle solving in games. And if that involves math, so be it. If I enjoyed math, I wouldn't be a history major. So I'd still be doing engineering. I cool, we're actually pretty close to leveling up as well. It is done. I don't know if you can circle all the way around the tent or not. Or sorry, around the uh if you wish building. What do you want? If you Yeah, when I got older, I I saw the that question posed yeah. somewhere online, and so I, I figured it out myself because I remembered it from the game. It is done, as I thought. 
Because I take great pride in not using guides and stuff when I play. At least the first time Simple. through. If you wish. And the first time I played this game, I didn't even have internet, so... Uh, huh? Out with it. Yes. I didn't have internet if until... 2010? <laughs> Well, we had internet, but then uh, Verizon bought out Altel, who was our internet provider, and uh, the internet we had through Altel was decent. I mean, of course, we had a little bit of dial-up coming up uh, when I was growing up. We got the, like, the free trials of people PC and AOL. But yeah, then when we finally got decent internet when high speed was like coming out, uh, we got Altel. And where we lived at, we couldn't get cable. It had to all be through the uh, cell towers. But Verizon bought out Altel, and they closed down the cell tower that was near us, and so we didn't have any service. It was it was miserable. Who are you? Oh, whoever you are, you must flee this place at once. He's he's killed everyone else who has come into this place. Almost. Oh, please run. Uh, who are you talking about? Who's killed everyone? Kala. I don't know what he's done exactly or how. Everything here is an illusion, but it's magic that can hurt you if you believe in it. Oh, you can probably... Oh, you probably don't understand, do you? I... I don't know what he's done to the tent or with the others who have come in, but their deaths are real. You must run. Just who are you? How is it a monster has the voice of a young woman? I... I'm not a monster. I'm an elf. A winged elf. Or at least I was. This... This covering you see is some kind of illusion, but if you believe in it, then it becomes real. Please believe me. Now go before something happens to you. I beg of you. I've never heard of a winged elf. What are you talking about? I... I come from a race of winged elves, although there aren't many of us left. From Faina Dale in the south. My wings were cut off a long time ago, though. But... but that isn't important. This place is too dangerous. Go back to the city and warn everyone what is happening here. You must flee. I need to know exactly what is happening here first. Well, I hope you don't end up like like the others, but all right. My name is Ari. I work in the circus with my uncle Quail. I don't know exactly what happened, but everything changed a few days ago. Everything became chaos and turned into what you see here. Although it all isn't real, it's an illusion. The minions, they all say they serve Kala, so I know he's behind all of this. He's an illusionist in the circus, but I don't understand how he was able to do all of this. He must be stopped, before he hurts any more people. Please, if if you release me from my chains, I can help you stop him. Chains? I don't see any chains on you. The chains are invisible, covered by the illusion, and, and they are magical. They prevent me from casting my own spells, and they maintain the illusion which is placed on me. Uh, why can I not just dispel the illusions here? I don't know. I tried earlier when this first happened. Kala's spells are too powerful somehow. He's... he's never been that good. Uh, yeah, he's never been that good though, so I don't know what, what he's done. If you free me though, together we can find out and stop him. And... and hopefully rescue my uncle Quail. Uh, how do I release you then? You... you need the key to these chains, but... but it won't look, look like a key. There are a couple of commoners in the north side of this chamber. Don't be fooled by the illusion though. They are monsters. They have a sword which they... Sorry. They have a sword which is actually my key. If you get it from them, I can remove the chain and regain my normal form. But please, be careful. You... you can't trust anything you see here. Yes, out with it. Alright, so she... If you wish. Uh. <sighs> I am a simple woman. Please don't hurt me. Oh, what am I to do? You don't seem like any creature I've encountered before. I'm not a creature, or at least I never used to be, not until the circus and everything changed. Well, who are you then? My my name's Hannah. I came to the circus with my son, although he didn't come into the tent with me. Oh, please help me. How is it that you became this creature then? Okay. Alright, uh, what are you talking about? What's going on? Oh, I don't know. All I know is that I came into the tent to watch the performance. 
A gnome came on the stage and began to perform some kind of magical act. It was quite silly. It was obvious that whatever the gnome was trying to do wasn't working. His magic fizzled, and everyone started laughing. I thought it was part of the act, so I laughed too. And then everything began changing. People started transforming into creatures, and then back into themselves. The world shifted somehow, and I felt so sick and horrified. I think I passed out. When I woke up, I had been turned into this... into this monstrosity. I... I don't know what to do. My son didn't come into the tent with me, and I'm frightened to think what may have happened to him. And who are the peasants here? They... they're not people. They're vicious and dangerous. I've seen them kill people. You must stop them. I think your son is still outside. Wait here. He is? Oh, I will. Oh, thank you. What? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. So, huh? should be determined by... It is done. As I thought, what? Can't save during combat. Alright, screw it. Come down. I also like how the peasant, they don't help each other out. Alright, who has my... I think she has it. Alright, the ogre's sword. An ogre with a woman's voice asks for the sword, claiming that it will break the illusion cast over her. Yes, if you wish. Pleasure sleeve. Uh, Don't remember her being here. I like the elephant statues. If you wish. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. It is done as I thought. Simple. If you wish. Doesn't like there's anything over there. All right, let's go release Airy. Out with it. If you wish. You, you have the key, or, or rather the sword. Please, please give it to me, and, and I can be rid of this illusionary form at last. Aye, as you wish. I thank you for your trust. The sword is actually a key that unlocks the chain that powers my horrible illusion. What? All right, there she is. My hands, my skin, it's real again. Oh, thank you, Beovar. Find Quail and stop Kala before he does any more harm. I'll join with us and we will search for him to sorry. Join with us and we will search for him together in this place. You would let me join you? I'll all right. Come, let's find Quail. Who knows what, what they've done to him? You should be aware. Perhaps, that I am hunting a very powerful mage named, named Arenicus. It will no doubt be a dangerous task. Oh, I'd be glad to help you. Truly I would. But we simply must help Uncle Quail first. We must. Alright, so Aerie is unique in that she is... a cleric mage. I'm debating whether or not she's going to be a permanent addition to the party. I haven't decided yet. Supposedly she can make a decent tank, um, because she has decent dexterity. She doesn't have a good strength though, but she can cast spells obviously to make herself tankier. Let's see, what spells does she currently have equipped? We'll deal with this later on, but uh, yeah, the only problem with her is that she has, I think the lowest constitution in the game, right? Yeah, nine, ooh. So she doesn't have like any end of her classes, she doesn't have any health growth. Um, She's going to be extremely squishy for most of the game. Also, clerics tend to fall off uh, in the later parts of Baldur's Gate 2 and Throne of Ball. They don't nearly as, uh, nearly as good. Improved haste would be nice. Does she have haste memorized? She's slow. That's good. 
All right, regardless, she's going to get that. Huh? Yes. Uh. Sorry, what level one spells does she have? So we're not going to rest right now anyway. We're going to continue. I am here to serve. Oh, welcome. Welcome, Lord, to Kala's realm. Be thee not of impure mind, for surely Lord Kala shall destroy thee. Uh, be thee not of impure heart, or thou wilt surely destroy thyself. Kala is the one ruler, the one true being. Who exactly is Kala? Where is this realm of his that I have come to? Kala is beyond thy ken, mortal. He is the beginning, he is the end. He is our god and our king. Tremble before him, and he may take pity on thee. I am my own person, and not this Kala's possession. Bow before the will of thy betters, mortal. Kala's rage is awesome to behold. Let not thyself be found in its path. Uh, where can I find Kala? Or not, lord, for Kala has already found thee. Continue on thy path, if thee should find favor in Kala's eyes. And thou shalt surely be granted an audience. Huh? It is done. Okay. Yes. That worked better than I was expecting. Ah, as I thought. Simple. We definitely benefit from some uh, buffing. You point. I thought your servants away. Yes, it is done. As I thought. Also, I need to get uh, Minsk some equipment. Simple. If you wish. Uh. Uh, congratulations, Donald. Kala is most amused by your progress. You may yet live so as long as you continue to provide such an er yeah, such entertainment. Are you ready to proceed? Uh, what is going on here? Who is Kala? Fool. The process of discovery is part of the fun. As to Kala, he is the lord of this domain. Uh, ere long as he shall be your lord. Are you ready to proceed? Uh, proceed to where? I shall take you to the next part of our little game. Are you ready to go? To Kalimvor. I am ready. You do show some courage. Go then. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Come if on, go through the door, guys. You have kept them here nicely. What? I'm not. <laughs> You're not what? You're not my beast? Oh, but you are. All of you are, don't you see? What? 
What have you done to my Uncle Quail? Little Airy, is that you? I have no eyes. No eyes. Be careful, Donald. Some of these beasts are real and some are illusions. There's no way to tell until they hit you. Yes, it's a regular three-ring circus, isn't it, my beasts? Now go ahead and tear each other apart. What? You need something? All right, let's see what spells we can cast. Let's get a... A bless going. I Jahira, you go ahead and you. cast Defensive Harmony. Swords, not words! Huh? What do you need? Fleet of foot and all that. What? My Feel the fist of, hand death. of justice! Yes. The exit has vanished. Okay. Good to yes. know. I'm gonna cast Insect Plague on him if I can. I'll help however I can. I am ready. This is a lot more exciting than any circus. All right, that's quail destroyed. Easy peasy. Oh boy. No! <laughs> this isn't what was supposed to happen. This isn't what was promised to me. I know that voice. What's that voice from? From an old cartoon. to have my plans shattered by some inbred northern adventurers. I, I just wanted to be respected. Is it from All Real Monsters? Is it from Ed, Ed, and Eddie? What is that from? I know that voice. I mean, I could be mistaken, but it sounds extremely familiar to... A, extremely similar to one from a, an old cartoon. Uh, you, you've killed me! Destroyed Kala with your mis- Placed morals and beastly greed for adventure. What is past here, Gnome? You replaced the circus with your personal playground? You fool. You you truly know nothing. I am Kala, an illusionist. I was made a clown mage for the pleasure of the tall folk, but I bided my time, and I was promised a world world where I could rule. A world I could rule. In Am, um, a mage is a criminal, and a gnome is a spectacle. In this tent, in my world, Kala was the master, where none would dare to laugh. What are the circus employees, Kala? What have you done with all those that have disappeared into the into this tent? Indifference killed those fools from the circus. I treat them in death as they were to me in life. A gnome gets no respect. I just wanted people to look up to me. All that I have done. What what a pitiful little man. Everyone did laugh at him, but they didn't deserve to die. I I just can't hate him, despite all he's done. The gnome is dead. How he was able to perform these great feats of illusion will have to remain a mystery, it seems. Oh. Uncle Quail, you're okay! Huh, I knew Kala would trip over himself eventually. I'm just pleased he despised me enough to play with me, rather than dispose of me like some of the others. Oh Quail, what would I ever do without you? I, I think you need to find out, my dear. I've taught you everything I can. It's time, Airy. Time for you to learn the rest of Time for you to learn the rest on your own. You you're the wisest and smartest and the kindest man I'll ever know. I wasn't always, my dear. You changed that, Airy. But I can't keep you here for myself forever. Oh Quail, I would miss you. You shall have you shall have to come and visit me from time to time and tell me what you've learned. Go. Go with my blessing, girl. All right, take take care of the circus while I'm away. Oh, don't worry about me. If you find happiness, maybe the pain of losing your wings will be lessened. 
Nothing would please me more. Be well, my Aerie. Hmm? Alright, I'm gonna try and have her memorize all these spells real quick. Come on. Alright, let's do this one instead. Or not. There we go. A little sad we didn't level up there. Again, some of these spells we're never going to use, but the experience is nice to have. So. Yes, what? Alright, um, she might be able to identify it. Ring of Human Influence. For seven years, Count Fifthnilt searched the realms for a suitable bride for his son, Ewin. Right. Yeah, Ewin? Ewin, sorry. Unfortunately, all the women that Fifthnilt found were not up to the standard set by Ewin, an impossibly spoiled man. Desiring an heir and impatient with his son, the Count had the court mage fashion this ring. He gifted the ring to a woman with, of no small courtly influence, and Ewin was instantly smitten. They wed three weeks later. Charm person once per day. So if I equip this on my paladin, is it going to reduce my charisma by one? It does. What we'll do is we'll give this to... Yeah, we'll go ahead and give it to her, I guess. Elsbane. Our girdle piercing Elsbane. An infamous highwayman in his day, Pandar of Scardale made quite a name for himself, vexing the elves of Cormethir Corm Forest. To their annoyance, he continually used the wood to escape the law. With the aid of this girdle, the elves' arrows as well. Unfortunately for Pandar, pit traps and starvation proved a slower but effective substitution. Do I have a belt on? I do. We'll do it that way. Okay. Uh, yes. If you wish. Well met and welcome. Uh, legs and hands. I have hands again. I'm free of this horrible place. Thank you so much. I must... Kieran. Oh, my son hasn't gone far. Mama's on her way. Uh, 500 experience, but it is yeah, like, yeah. like a side part of the what quest. What do you need? I thank you, my good man, for helping us. Kala is a, was a fine illusionist. Just more deluded than anyone knew. Take care of my area then, will you? I have a question to ask you. A friend of mine has been imprisoned by the cowed wizards. Do you know where they keep people they capture? Hmm. Cross the cowed wizards, have you? But where, Donald? They have deep roots here in Athkala. They've taken someone, that person is gone. Best just to accept it. The only other chance would be to get help from an organization just as powerful. What do you need? What do you know about the shadow thieves here in Athkala? Not much. They rule the docks, so some say. The local guard won't even go there. Probably the safest part of town, if you ask me. I've heard some nonsense about someone challenging them, but I don't put stock in it. Yeah, I don't put stock in it. The Shadow Thieves has as much power as the Cowed Wizards, you know. <laughs> okay. If someone's challenging them, the Blood Scalp, that's what they call their leader. I hear he'll deal with them, sure enough. I wouldn't get involved were I you. What? So we need to find someone who's as powerful as the Cowed Wizards, done. and coincidentally... The uh, shadow thieves are as powerful. As I thought. For the glory of Arm. I just wanted to thank you, citizen, for doing such a fine job. You saved us more than a little trouble with that gnome. The city, ch uh, the city thanks you truly. I have a question. A friend of mine has been imprisoned by the cowed wizards. Do you know where they might be keeping her? Well, they would have imprisoned her wherever they keep their magic-using criminals, and they keep the location of their prison a secret. Sorry about your friend, but that's the way it is. Uh, what do you know about the Shadow Thieves, then? There are a power here in the city, and they're everywhere you look. If you intend to deal with them, friend, be wary. I'll be going, then. A very good citizen. Yeah, my thanks once again. 
Reputation went up by one. Things are going well for us, yes? It's a dangerous path, but we manage well for ourselves. Our reputation was reset. Yes. Simple. Who are you? Thanks for saving my mother, sir. Papa will be so happy. What? If you wish. Alright, I'm gonna call this episode here. We did we did good. We knocked out the circus, we got a new companion. And again, she might be Our I'm, actions are good and will serve the greater balance. I'm split about her. She might be a permanent companion. Or she might not be. I'm not sure. But she is one of the contenders for the uh for our party. What do you want? I if never saw much of the cities from the circus. Uh, right, what's going on here, real so quick? Crowded like this? They're all evil. Pretty sure she's a vampire. Let me have a taste. Come. Uh, no. You're not to see this yet. You've not chosen your side. When the time comes, obey. Obey, or you'll join the thieves in death. Such is the will of the mistress. Uh, what are you talking about? Why were you fighting these people? Such things are not for you to know, yet. When the time comes, you will know much. And if the mistress bids it, you may also live. Well, thank you for the free money. I note... Proclamation of warning to all guild members. The Shadow Council itself decrees that all chapters should be on their guard against the upstart assassin's guild usurping our membership. The lure of coin is not but bait, and it is suspected that the end of those that have defected has been most bloody. Uh, no guild can rival the Shadow Thieves, so any claims so any that claim as such must have darker motives. You've been warned the cost of treachery. Yeah, yeah. What? Yes? Oh, there she goes. Uh, can I kill her? Nope, she escaped. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, memorizing a spell. Alright, I'm gonna call the episode here, and the next one we'll continue exploring the promenade. Might finish it in the next episode, I'm not sure. And, uh, yeah, continue exploring Athkatla and see if we can't find Emily. Also, can we inspect this? A flying machine of gnomish design. It looks a bit unstable. Alright, anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.